Okay. <laughs> Time for daily download. This is Carmel. You can go to www.beingandbecoming.life to find out more about what I'm about. I seem to be doing... This is the daily download for um, 22 to 2022. So it's the Tuesday and I seem to be doing my um, downloads on <laughs> really terrible hair days, but that's fine. I've just got out of the ocean. Um, it is an incredibly stunning day today. This is my backyard. I have a knack of attracting fabulous backyards, it seems. But um, yeah, just the ocean, the sun, the heat, black sandy beach, it's super hot, cannot walk on that and bare feet today, that's for sure. But you know, I was just in the water there, hanging out, um, I've just mowed my lawns and it really is so nice to be able to just go and get the negative ions of the ocean on your body and just drop all the things that, um, yeah, starts to stick to us after a while and especially in the energetic environment that I've been in. I've been really tuning in to what's going on in Wellington and it's mixed reports about what's going on of course and so I've had myself really feeling into what is true in the field for me and I've had an uneasy feeling since last night and it turns out dawn raids are happening down in Wellington and I'm in two minds and I have always been in two minds about the effectiveness of protesting on one level it's you know so important to get that um, visual sense of disgruntled energy and sometimes you have to just put the 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 the, the bodies on the ground, you know, the alive bodies, the feet on the ground of um, those who are prepared to play that role. It's such a huge part of how transition and change starts to happen and how real transformation starts to happen. Because if you don't see it in the physical world, then for so many people, it's just not happening. For others, you can really feel it in the energetics of the more dimensional space that we live in. And that is quite a different um, energy to navigate. And I feel like the frequencies that are available to work with at this time are really potent. And so that's where I choose to work more, is in the energetic field. And that means I need to go and cleanse my space, my physical body from the Klingons of the energy from the field there <laughs> and the likes of the ocean and nature. You know, nature is my government after all. So I bow down to the government of nature and how it governs the cycles of my own being. But while I was out there today, you know, I was sort of thinking today was the day I was going to drive down to Parliament and hang out um, and offer my services in whatever way I could and yesterday and over the weekend I just had this feeling that no that's not my call and even though I arranged clients to shift from now to the end of the week and I had the day free to go down there I was just like no that's not where I'm best needed and so I've been in the ocean and feeling into, you know, what is important, what, what's okay. And instead there's this uneasiness inside my being. And so I have to go through a process within myself to discern what's mine, what's somebody else's or, or a group of someone else's and what's collective or planetary. And often it's a mix of all three at varying different levels. And I then know how to work with it. So whatever's mine, I can go work with in the ocean, or I can work with in meditation or therapeutically by having a counseling session, or um, more and more these days, I um, just know what's going on because I know my stories so well. So I can just drop into those parts of me that are not aligning with the, the, the deeper frequencies of my being. 
and talk to them and find out what they need and get the insight and move through it. And when it's someone else's, then I go to the ocean and I say, here, ocean, you take it. It's not mine. I don't need it. Um, I don't generally give it back to them because I feel if I can transmute it, then that's maybe better. Um, and then if it's planetary or collective, again, I give it to nature. Say, so you transmute this. I consciously give it back to you to transmute. And you know if it's yours just by how it feels. You can feel the different levels of anxiety inside you. If there's a story attached to it, a personal story that's yours, then it's yours, you know? If it's more of a collective story or a story about someone else or a story about how you should fit into someone else's life, then you know you can feel into what is the stories around it. You know, it's through our stories that we know who we are and why we're here and what we're about, and it's speaking our stories into the world that is, um, yeah, <sighs> so valuable. You know, sharing our stories, and you know, my story at the moment is that I'm navigating this path in life that's having me spend more and more time by myself um, and then more and more time as a mother like I'm flipping between the two in quite a um, yeah quite a scheduled way and I'm not used to a schedule like that and I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying the container that it holds and I'm really feeling into what it feels like to be at a certain level of dis-ease or uneasiness as we do that. And I think we're at a time where unease, dis-ease is just prevalent, it's just part of life. And instead of pushing it away and rejecting it, or it's resisting it, not wanting it, or judging it as wrong, or I'm not good enough, or I'm not doing it right, or any of the things that we might go to with it, we can still go, I'm not either accepting this or rejecting it. I'm just going to be with it. I'm just here with it in this moment and feeling it. And so what is good about this moment? Well, fuck, there's plenty of good things about this moment. You know, and it doesn't really matter. You don't have to be sitting on an incredible beach to um, appreciate this now moment. You can be in any situation and just drop into this now moment. Feel your heart beating. Feel where you're at. And, and let the parts of you that feel uneasy know that they're loved, they're taken care of, their needs can be serviced from inside. What do they need? Do they need your inner mother to show up? Do they need your inner father to show up? Do they need your inner lover to show up? Like what aspect of self needs to show up for yourself at this time? Because we are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the sovereign beings who showed up at this time with the frequencies that we've got and the codes that we're unraveling from the instructions within ourselves to activate exactly what we need. There's no other way to do this apart from to go inside, reflect on what is needed, and then find it from the wellspring of wisdom and um, tools that you have inside of you. You know what you need. Nobody else can service you the way you can take care of you. Nobody else can know exactly what you need the way you do. So when you really show up for yourself and ask yourself what you need, you'll find that you have the answers and you have the tools to activate that. I'm Carmel. Beingandbecoming.life is my website. And if you've enjoyed this daily download, perhaps you'd enjoy some, some time of me holding a container for you so I can mirror back to you how cool you really are, how okay you really are, and how talented and wise you really are at taking care of yourself in an ever-changing, uncertain world. We got this. We've, we were born for this shit. <laughs> we've got this so, so well. <laughs>